Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? I'm back here with round three, day one, World Championships TCG pod review. Go ahead and get it. We got Joe Bernard playing Buzz Rock. We're looking at his prizes right now versus uh, Sean Foise playing uh, Shadow Ray, Mars Shadow Ray, whatever you want to call it. Um, call it Shadow Ray. Um, so this matchup I think is generally favored for uh, Buzz Rock. Um, it really depends on which version or how the Buzz Rock is built for Joe. If it's like the quad baby Buzz Wall, um, you kind of just want to like go with three baby Buzz Walls in a row and just start hitting stuff. Don't put any GXs in play. Um, but it really depends on on how the deck is built. A lot of people build it uh, a little bit differently. Um, so we see Joe does have a Buzz Wall GX, so he's already going to immediately put that down. He has Ultra Ball. He retreats to the Buzzwell, so I don't know if he knows what Sean is playing, but he definitely does not want to retreat to the Buzzwell if he knows what Sean is playing. In fact, I would like to have seen him maybe Ultra Ball for a Baby Buzzwell to send up first. Um, maybe just Ultra Ball for a Baby Buzzwell in general. Um, now that he sees his Ray, he probably regrets sending it up there because um, there is a possibility he just gets knocked out and then he has really no res no good response. Uh, but after Max Luxor discard Max Luxor with, uh, he should be pretty safe now. Ultra Ball away, Floatstone and Guzma. I wonder if he's going to go for Marshadow or Lele here. He has a Lele active, so I, don't, I mean, I don't know how many Lele he plays. Looks like it's going to be Lele. He's going to go Lele for Sycamore. Um, the Joe's really in no trouble at this point now. Two Max Luxors gone. One of them whiffed. Like, yeah, he's not going to be in any trouble for a while. You should actually just see probably attached pass here from Sean. Uh, he puts his stadium out there. Oh, because he is going to go with the Marshadow already. All right. Um, still not a huge fan of putting the stadium out there, especially because... Um, Joe has yet to play a stadium, so you might want to leave it in the deck to, to reduce that jet punch damage that's going to definitely happen next turn. Um, so yeah, not a big fan of that play there from Sean. I think he should have probably just held the stadium and put it back in the deck. You're not going to get really any use out of it. There's, there's a good potential. <coughs> good potential you're not going to get any use out of it now. Watch out to four. Oof, there's the Octillery. Very nice for Joe there. And there's the pass. Octillery. I wonder if he plays the two... 2-2 two, two Octillery. I would like to see that ben Remoraid get benched if he does. We'll see. He's looking. He's looking. He does. I would like to have definitely seen that Remoraid get benched then. Um, I think he probably should have attached active and then Abyssal Hand for... Or attack, attach active. So, because he has the second Octillery in deck. I guess he hasn't looked yet, but he knows it potentially could be. Um, and setting up 2-2 two, two Octillery is so... Setting up the 2 Octillery is so big. Like, you get so much draw power. It's actually insane. So, from Joe, I would like to have seen him bench... Uh, Remorite right, attach active because it's still in a position where it's unlikely Sean will actually one shot that buzz wall next turn. Um, so I'd like to have seen him attach basic energy active, maybe special. No, attach basic active, bench Remoraid, Abyssal Hand, then Ultra Ball. Maybe you don't even Ultra Ball at that point. Like, there's really no need to at that point. Um, so I don't like that play from Joe. Set up that 2 2 Octillery 100%. If you're gonna, if you're playing the 2 2, play like it could not be prized and, and bench it and, and see if that works, see if it's in there, you know. Um, you don't need to Abyssal Hand for a ton here. You have everything you need. He even ends up attaching active anyways. There's another Ultra Ball. Probably getting a Baby Buzzle here as backup just in case his active does get knocked out. You could get a Rock Ruff here as well. I was going for Lele for a supporter, actually. See, I think that's unnecessary. I don't think you need... Uh, you don't really need to get a draw supporter. You have another Ultra Ball to find another Lele next turn. Uh, I guess I don't hate it. I don't hate going for Lele for Cynthia. But yeah, I think definitely... Let's go back on that. Let's look at that. Uh, I'll go back on that real fast. So when Joe Joe's hand was... Uh, what are we at? Eleven thirty. It was uh, Remoraid, Fighting Energy, Ultra Ball, Strong Energy, something else. Whatever. He should have attached uh Basic Energy Active, Bench Remoraid, Abyssal Hand for three, and then reevaluate if you even want to play Ultra Ball. You don't even have to play Ultra Ball at that point. You can still just chill. Probably Ultra Ball for Baby Buzzle. I think though as like a backup to if your Buzzle actually does get knocked out, um, and then just attack. Like you don't need that much more this turn. Like I don't I don't really like putting the Lele in play this turn because now Sean can go. Uh, knock out Buzzle GX, Guzma knock out Lele, and then he shuts off Beast Ring. Um, and even if you get the Sledgehammer off, it turns Sledgehammer off as well. Um, the big thing is he can shut off Beast Ring through killing two GXs. So I don't like benching the Lele either. I think you should have Ultra Balled for a baby Buzzwall. Um, ideally, you just hold the Ultra Ball because you would have another Remoraid in play, but he didn't bench the Remoraid. So now we're in a... I feel like Joe created an awkward situation on his own board for no reason. Like It opens up plays for Sean on his side, on Sean's side. Uh, so we see the Cynthia for six. So there's the super rod. That's good. There's three energy. That's good. I would just go, yeah, go ahead and play that right now. He's going to get Remoraid, Remoraid fighting. That's fine, too. I think there's three fighting in there, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. The Remoraid should have already been on the bench. Um, and then we're going to see an attack. Now, I'm curious as to what the Pokemon line is in Joe's deck. He hasn't seen any other attackers. Maybe he doesn't even play Rockruff. We haven't seen Rockruff either. 
Um, or Lycan Rock. I guess we, he did search through his deck, so I should have paid a little bit more attention. Next time he makes a search, I'll try and pay a little bit more attention. Let's shuffle up. I think Sean played N, right? Yeah, Sean, Sean, as of right now, I don't think plans to attack for a couple turns. Um, he's just going to chill. He's like, well, I'm already this far behind. We're just going to set up a couple rays, maybe Coco in at some point. Um, but we don't have any big plans the next couple turns. Just going to chill. Don't forget to use your Champion's Festival. Oh, no, he doesn't have a full bench. He's thinking about Cocoing. He's going to retreat to the right. So he's actually going to go for the two shot here. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of going for the two shot here. Uh, but I guess maybe you don't really have a have a choice. Um, all right, we see the Brooklyn Hill from Joe. This should definitely grab a baby buzzle. If he doesn't play like a knock, and I don't play like it. Or actually, what's it called? Works fine here, too. Um, oh, he plays three flow zone. Yeah, so get this, get the second Remoraine. Second Remoraine. Once again, should have already been on the bench. He's setting up the double, the two two artillery is actually just so sick. Actually, I don't think he plays Max Elixir either. I, I don't think so, yeah. I would have actually kept both Flowstone in the deck. I don't like this Flowstone attachment here. So if you attach the second Flowstone, you should also attach the third. Um, because, so basically, if Sean finds... The only thing you're afraid of is Sean finding Field Blower. If he finds Field Blower, he's just going to get rid of both your Flowstones. So if you put the third in play, then he has to find two Field Blower. Um, but I think the best thing to do is just keep both Flowstones in the deck. Um, so you, you never give Sean an out of finding Field Blower to remove all your Flowstones from play. Um, so I would have just kept the second flowstone in deck just to have it as an option later. Um, make it easier, more reliable to find a flowstone. You just <clears throat> either that or put all three in play. Um, you still have all your Guzmas left. You're not worried. You shouldn't be worried about Sean creating a stall play where he like brings something up and stalls you out. Um, so either you, you play one, you play none, or you play both. So he definitely should have just attached that other one to the, probably the Remarine and put on Diancy. Diancy's like, can be a big target. All right, so we found Buzzwool. Found more Ultra Balls. He's going to Ultra Ball away Buzzwell Guzma. He's going to grab the Baby Buzzwell, it looks like. I like that. Grab Baby Buzz. And then I think he just benched the Remoraid, so he can't Ultra Ball for a second Artillery. But he'll do that next turn for sure. I don't think I don't even know if he's used Abyssal Hand yet. Super odd for Buzzwell in Energy. Very good. I think Joe, Joe pretty much has this game lined up for him to win. I don't see how Joe ever loses this. Um, going for... Three. Ooh. Oh, double beast ring. And the buzzle too. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't see how Joe ever loses this. Um, so he does GX. I, don't, I wouldn't have GX there if I was Joe. He, he definitely get knocked out. There's no way you don't get knocked out next turn. He definitely should have gone with... Um, I don't know what Joe is thinking there by GXing. You're definitely getting knocked out. Save the GX for like maybe your next buzzle or something. Yeah, I, yeah the GX was pretty bad. I don't know why he GX there. You're 100% getting knocked out. Just go with the uh, knuckle impact. Uh, over to Sean's side. Uh, we see the field blower. That's what I was talking about. Like, put all three in play, or just keep two in the deck. I almost like putting all in three play, all three in play, a little bit better. Because like, if you have three in play, you can't with one field blower, he can't remove three flow, three tools, right? So you keep one of your flow zones in play. Um, so yeah, I think I would have liked to have seen just put all three in play. There's that Jinx. Got an Ultra Ball. I don't think the Jinx is gonna be very useful anymore. Yeah, get rid of the Jinx. I don't even know. He probably get another Ray out, I guess. Uh, maybe he has to go for a Marsh Shadow here because he has no... He doesn't really have that good of a, good of a hand. Yeah, I think it has to be a Marsh Shadow. And I think he's going to go back in with it. This doesn't Joe doesn't really care at this point. He's got Octillery set up, potential for a second Octillery. Um, so it's not a big deal for Joe uh, with these Marsh Shadows coming down. Marshmallow, there we go. We'll shuffle in and draw four. All Joe really needs... I mean... He ideally just wants to get that Sledgehammer knock on the way, like, which he doesn't need much for. Oh, I don't know how many choice bands he plays. We haven't seen a single choice band yet. He plays Zygarde Jix as well. So there's no Lycan rock in this deck on Joe's side, which makes the matchup a little bit closer, actually, because he's more GX-focused. Um, and his hand is actually not great. He had a really good hand, and now his hand is not great. Oh, he plays Palpad, too. Interesting. Charles should probably Palpad for Cynthia Guzma. Um, yeah, Palpad, Cynthia Guzma. Then he should Brooklyn Hill grab a Buzz GX. I would not attach yet. I would. Oh, why are you attaching? Oh my gosh! Did he attach? Oh my gosh! That makes it so much harder for him to get the knockout. Now he can't get beast energy. <clears throat> uh, does it make it that much harder? It makes it a little bit harder. Now he can't get beast energy. I would just maybe beast energy's prize though, so he knows he just needs a choice band either way, which is then fine, I guess. Um, if he knows he needs a choice band either way, then this is a fine attachment, I guess. Get something good. 
Ooh, that is not good. Yeah. I'm actually entering. So this this matchup is actually the way the way the deck is built actually on Joe's side. This matchup is actually not that bad for um Sean, and now he has to put the two energy on the active because um, that way if Sean does go Guzma, knock out a GX to try off Beast Ring, uh, he at least can be swinging around. Um, so there we go, Sledgehammer for 140. So really bad situation. His Beast Energy must be prized, I think. Or he doesn't play it, potentially, I guess. Retreat Lele, go to Rayquaza. Um, attach. It looks like Sean's whole hand is literally just energy and... Oh, energy and two rays. <laughs> yeah, not a great hand from Sean, but we don't currently have a follow-up from Joe. Um, if he does find what's it called here, though, he should be able to close out the game pretty easily um, through... He just needs a B-string. Uh, he'll be able to knuckle impact, knock out the active, and then just jet punch, clean up that Lele on the bench. So he's still in a really good spot if he finds a B-string this turn because Sean wasn't able to shut off B-string last turn. Sean ideally wanted to shut off B-string last turn, but was not quite able to get there. There's a B-string. Okay, so that should be pretty much game then. This B string should pretty much lock up the game. Um, Joe just needs an energy next turn to get that Lele. Unless Sean plays some way to heal it. I guess the Jinx could heal it, but the Jinx in this card probably could get the Jinx back. Just go ahead and put the Floatstone in play as well here as well as from Joe. There's no reason to keep hold on to that uh, Floatstone. He's counting blowers. Even if he has blowers left, it's not a big Even if he has a blower left, it's not a big deal. You have Guzma's in hand. Um, so yeah, put, the, put in play Abyssal for two. There you go. And he already has energy in hand as well now. Uh, yep, get everything out of your deck. Only the only thing that bad could only the only thing that would stop Joe from winning this game is like a really bad end. Um, on Sean's side, I mean this is and also this is where oh could you? This is where you'd want a GX as Joe. This is where you'd want to use the GX attack, but he wasted it earlier. Guzma from Sean. Treasure for nothing. There's a Champions Festival though. That's what we just thought. That's what I just mentioned. Hey, but there's the scoop because he has no way to draw into it. His hand was literally energies and Rayquaza. He had nothing else. Um, so we see the scoop from Sean. Um, but yeah, if he was going to make a comeback somehow, uh, it would have to be to get the fill your bench, get the Champions Festival, heal the heal the Lele up by ten, play N ideally. Um, yeah, it's going to be you need a lot there. Um, so game one, I think was. Played pretty clean by Sean. Uh, from Joe, it was sloppy early on. Like, he, he could have just, like, set up way better, and he just chose not to. Like, set up the, the two artillery early on. He just he just chose not to set them up. I don't know why. Uh, he could have played a little. He didn't need anything else on those turns. Uh, he also plays heavy floatstone count, so, like, losing your one floatstone and play while getting knocked out isn't that big of a deal. Um, he is playing the heavier GX version now, though. We know that. Um, so he's going to be leading, uh, ideally leading Buzzwool. And then going into the prize one room, right? There's the Beast Energy. I think Beast Energy was prized as well last game. Um, <clears throat> Beast Energy prized again. Uh, Sean side, triple grass prize. Not great, but it's not horrible. It's not the biggest deal ever. It looks like we see just turn one. First thing that happens on Sean's side is just attached to Ray and then Mars Shadow immediately. And he puts the stadium in play. Once again, not a huge fan of playing the stadium in play, though. Like, I would, I would like to see him hold those. Um, especially now that you should know that Joe is all GX focused. Um... I should be like, okay, well, he's all GX focused. Um, I want to clean up that early jet punch damage, which is, is not hard to do. Oof, there's a Sycamore, so yeah, Sean. I mean, the deck is pretty consistent at getting out of a, a turn one rush out of your own turn one rush out of, so. He's like another stretcher, and he's going to debate getting the Ray back. Oh, it's an Ultra Ball. Uh, I don't think he needs to play Ultra Ball this turn. I would just, I would just pass, yeah. There we go. There's no reason to, like, Ultra Ball this turn. And there's, yeah, attached pass from Joe. <laughs> not great. I would have liked to have seen him maybe bench the other buzz just in case of escape rope, but... Yeah, you don't need to play around until you see it, I don't think, actually. He's going to get two more. He can get two more rays out here on Sean's side. And then go for the knockout on the active. Um, we'll see. We'll see what he gets. He probably gets a ray here, I think. I can't see. Oh, there's ray. One, two, three. Can't tell how bad the, this cards were. I think there's no more rays in deck, so he could ultra ball. Yeah, he's one with the ultra ball. He could actually grab what's it called here. Um, Coco and start just hitting with Coco. I think that's probably the way to go. You just want to make sure you can get an attack off this turn. I don't know if it will let the lightning count is in place. Is it two lightning, one lightning. Hmm. So probably not going with Coco. He goes with Cynthia, and he didn't attach for turn yet. I don't know why he didn't attach to one of the bench rays. I'm confused by that. Yeah, is there, is there any reason not to attach to a bench ray? I don't think he whiffed either of his rays. Yeah, he he didn't whiff. 
He attached active, so he does just does, chooses not to attach here. There's no reason not to attach to a Ventra Quaza though. Uh, he should attach a Ventra there, and because then all he needs is Floatstone Max Elixir. But now he needs attached Floatstone Max Elixir. I mean, you should, really shouldn't whiff an energy even off the six. Oh my goodness, <laughs> they're the Max Elixirs. Um, but yeah, he should still. I, th I think he still sort of. Bleh, he still should have attached to the Rayquaza. There's no reason not to, unless he did whiff one of the Rays Stormy Winds. But I don't think he did. I think he hit both of them. So. But there's a whiff. And then I guess you should just attach active at this point. Yeah. And then he might GX. Yeah, just go ahead GX. There's no reason not to. Just get a big hand. All right. Ultra Ball from Joe. Joe's back in the game. I don't know what the last card in his hand is. It's going to have to be late. It's probably going to be Lele for Sycamore, though, on his uh, Ultra Ball. Lele looking. I don't know what the last card in the hand is. Lele N. Choice band N. So he's any away Sean's big hand. So I actually don't like that. Um, so he attached choice band. I also don't like keeping the choice band over just benching a buzzwool. I think he should have ultra balled away choice band. The other card got Lele for Sycamore. Like Sean is already so far ahead. It doesn't matter if you end him like 10 or six cards really isn't that big of a difference for Sean. Um, I mean, technically it is, it's going from 10 to six, but it's not, he's already so far set up that it's actually just not a big difference at all. Um, I definitely think, um, Definitely think Joe should have gone with um, should have gone with uh, Sycamore here, and also just bench the other Buzzle GX because you need that in play. You don't need a Choice Band really. Choice Band really doesn't do that much in this matchup. The extra damage from Choice Band um, it's good on Baby Buzzle, but it's not great on the Buzzle uh, GXs. Yeah, it's Ultra Ball the way to Guzma. Yeah, and he's probably gonna have to grab Baby Buzzle here. Oh, he's going for Diancy, so he's gonna go for a Jet Punch here. Um, but you can jump on here, fine. Get a baby buzzle here. Definitely get a baby buzzle here as Joe. There's no reason to grit fancy. Like, what are you gonna jump on for? 80? 100? Yeah, I guess you can get the baby buzzle next turn. He definitely should have benched the, what's it called? Oh, there's baby buzzle. Oh my gosh. See, the buzzle jacks here would be so good. Triple B string? Would the buzzle jacks in play? Yes. All right, so we see the jet punch. Yeah, so we definitely should have, like, discard the choice band, get a Bench the Buzz GX. Like, just get you need Pokemon to set up. For now, you have the situation where you have three B strings in hand, and you have no Buzz GX to B string to. Uh, pretty good hand here from Sean. I would actually like to see him Guzma knock out the Octillery. Um, yeah, I don't like this play for here from Sean. He's setting up. He's putting himself in the line of Sledgehammer. He could also have Guzma knocked out. Uh, Guzma knock out Diancy isn't very good. I would like to see him Guzma knock out Octillery here. Uh, play around the Sledgehammer. Um, give yourself a little bit more time to draw to your dead hand. Like, I think going after this Buzz GX doesn't really do that much. I would have definitely liked to have seen Sean go Guzma KO. I think Guzma KO Artillery is definitely the right play here from Sean. I don't like this retreat knockout active here. Definitely go chase the, uh, the Artillery. There's no reason not to go chase Artillery here. Back over to Joe's side. Once again, he's in a really bad spot because he didn't bench the Buzz GX. All he, all he needs to do is bench Buzz GX and discard the Choice Band. Like, you know your Buzz GX is good. So, so, so Joe should know that if he... Um, Joe should know if he benches... If he, if he sends his Buzzle GX active there, which was his game plan, it looked like, it's going to get knocked out. Um, and if it's going to get knocked out, then... If it's going to get knocked out, then you know Sledgehammer's coming along, you know B-Strings coming online, which means you need Buzzwolves, which means you need Baby Buzzwolves. He found Baby Buzzwolves. He didn't have a Buzzwolves GX. He could have just discarded the Choice Band, put Buzzwolves GX in play. Choice Band's not even that good on Buzzwolves GX in this matchup. Um, it's like, okay, if you like Diancy's prize and you need that plus damage to knuckle impact one shot a thing. Um, but now he's going to be in a pretty tricky spot. He puts two on Baby Buzz. Choice, three, two, three. Oh, because yeah, he does play two Baby Buzzwolves. Interesting. So he plays two Baby Buzzle, probably three Buzz GX, and then a Zygarde, it looked like. Okay. So there's two Baby Buzzle in the deck. But I don't think he can get a one-shot here. No, 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 he can, he can. He's got the choice. We should do, that just should be a Sledgehammer knockout. Two Goose ones down. Yeah, put those back in. Double Goose in the deck. And then, oh, is it a knockout? Yeah, Sledgehammer does 190, yeah. So Sledgehammer knockout, and then he needs to somehow come up with uh, six prize cards. Or four more prize cards. But uh, he should have another turn of B-String. But he is down to one B-String left in deck. Oh, and his prize. So he has no more energy acceleration. Uh, so Joe's actually in a pretty tricky spot. Um, I th as long as Sean takes a knockout every turn, I think Sean will eventually win this game. Um, but it's if, if Sean can take a knockout every turn. If he can't, then I think Joe will end up taking this game. Um, because 
if if Sean just knocked out this next baby Buzzwool, then it's gonna be real hard for Joe to create another attacker. We'll see though. Beast there, so we swing around for one thirty. Ooh, not crazy. He needs a he needs a choice band here, and then he needs one swing one head on swing around to get the knockout. Um, but if he gets that, he could potentially jet punch. I guess jet punch KO the buzz the ray on the bench. Um, so that INC damage might come into play here, but it would have been way better as a Buzz GX um, on the bench. And there we go. Good hill. So he's going to be able to set it up for a Jet Punch knockout, probably. Um, and looking for the Buzz GX. Yeah, just go ahead and get it now. You're not really afraid of it getting knocked out. Um, <clears throat> retreat and swing around. Double heads here would be nice. Uh, oh, you need at least one heads. Oh, Oh, it had 30 on it already. Oh, yeah, that is a knockout. Yikes, I missed that. <clears throat> I thought he I thought he had no damage on it. All right, so this this one is looking actually pretty good for for Joe all of a sudden, actually. Um, I'm not sure what we're seeing here from Sean. Probably a treasure. Yeah, treasure. Gonna go with a Marshadow. Not sure why. Well, he's got a pretty big hand. Marshmallow. I'm not even sure what Sean Sean is looking for here. This is gonna be a rough turn for Sean. I don't even know what he I don't even know what he would need. He needs like his last max elixir plus an energy attachment. Has four cards. Uh does he even have Ray in the active? It is a Ray in the active, right? Yeah. Play like for Sycamore. The idea that I don't want to attack with this Ray. You could attack with uh Coco here, actually. He could set up the Coco potentially. Wow, that's a terrible hand there from Sean. <laughs> Um, yeah, this one's not looking good for Sean. Oh, he's got the Marsh Shadow still. Man, what does he even need? Max Elixir, Max Elixir attach Coco, I guess. Max Elixir hit a Lightning, uh, attach Grass, uh, Coco in, attach Grass to Coco, I guess. Yes. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, so close. He's just within the energy. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> yep, and that's just gonna be a scoop from Sean. Uh, wow, so that was actually really close there at the end for Sean to maybe potentially win that one. That would have still, he still had still been a chance for Joe to win. Um, but yeah, so I think once again, uh, it was played pretty clean by Joe, but once again, like, uh, Sean was played once again pretty clean by Sean, but the matchup is pretty, um, I mean, it's Ray, so like, there's just gonna be these kind of chance of situations that come up in the game for Sean, and we saw that come up here in this game. Uh, where Sean just just had some weird weird draws, uh, awkward draws, wasn't as smooth as he had wanted. The Marshadows didn't fully shut Joe out of the game. So many different things. Um, so we will see Joe taking it in the end. Um, once again, I think it was played a little sloppy on Joe's side. There was a couple things he could have done differently. Um, I guess maybe the end wasn't so bad when he went with end with Lele instead of Sycamore, but I think he definitely should have like got that Buzzwell GX in play. Like the jet punch damage isn't hugely relevant. Um, the extra deck jet punch damage from the choice band, ultra ball with the choice band, bench the Buzz GX, um, and go from there. Uh, yeah, so I wasn't a big fan of that play. Just get the Buzz GX in play. Like you know, you're about to almost for sure go into beast ring turn. Also from Sean, I would have definitely liked to have seen Sean KO Joe's Octillery play around Sledgehammer. You know he's going to go into Sledgehammer eventually, and you're probably just going to have to deal with the Baby Buzzle anyways. So just play around the Sledgehammer now. KO the Octillery. Then KO the Buzz GX. Then KO the Baby Buzz that comes up, probably. Like, don't give him a free Sledgehammer, especially when you can take out his draw, his draw power of from the Octillery. That, op that opens it up so your ends can also be super impactful from Sean's side. So yeah, so a couple big misplays from both sides. Sean definitely should have gone after the Octillery with the Guzma KO. That he goes after. Instead, he just retreats and knocks out the active. Just go get the Octillery. Don't, don't let him play sled use Sledgehammer. Uh, Joe side, put the Buzz GX in play. Discard the choice ban. The extra 30 from Jet Punch isn't a huge deal. Getting the 30 30 in play is very nice. Um, well, well, it would be like 50 30, whatever. Whatever it was. Because uh, they didn't put that antsy. Um, just play to for your next attacker instead of playing for doing as much damage as possible on the turn. Uh, and then, yeah, Sean, Guzman, Artillery, not knockout active. All right, guys, that's going to do it for round three. Uh, if you did like the video, give it a like. If you enjoy the content, subscribe. As always, constructive cr criticism is appreciated down in the comment section down below. Um, links as always in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all the stuff like that. Um, check all that out if you want to. Appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day and peace.